What's so great about it? <laughs> <laughs> When people usually talk about decentralization, they kind of look at one very specific angle uh, of the system. So, for example, they can look at how distributed are the nodes or uh, whether they are dispersed in different geographic locations. But it's very important to zoom out, get like a wider, if you want, like a bird's eye view perspective about what a system is at all its different layers and all its different facets. Decentralization within blockchain systems is a way of measuring who has different forms of power. And for consumers, for regulators, for other businesses, that's not easy to check. It's not easy to verify how that power is distributed. We believe in transparency. We want people to have all the information they need and not have to go through companies' websites that probably obscure the information. We, as researchers, will do our best to get data from the blockchains and parse them, make them simpler for everyone to understand. The Edinburgh Centralization Index will be basically a score. A stratified set of metrics that measure how power is distributed across many different layers of a blockchain system, from who owns the tokens, through to who owns the consensus and mechanisms, through to who develops the software that it's based on. It's a principled way to look at this concept of decentralization in a way that is verifiable, in a way that someone can see the methodology that was followed and could see the data that were used and can also verify the computation with which we arrived at the particular assessment of decentralization at any given time. The goal of the Edinburgh Centralization Index is to empower users to make informed decisions. They can see whether it's decentralized or not, or rather how decentralized it is, and base their decisions on that. When you look at proprietary solutions in other spaces, they're often untransparent and potentially they could be serving the interests of the person who produced them. And I think this creates kind of broken incentives rather than on self-reported data, we're going into the systems and trying to measure with primary data based on the systems themselves. The Edinburgh Centralization Index will inform users about how secure blockchain systems are because decentralization relates to security in many ways. It will tell users how far a certain blockchain is or close to a single point of failure. It will say how susceptible it is to certain attacks. For example, the higher the decentralization of a blockchain system is, the less vulnerable it is to certain attacks. We want to put this to work. So we want to develop a system that measures in a live manner the centralization of different systems and presents it to the end user. For now, they only have the promises of different blockchains and cryptocurrencies, but there is no data to back it. The type of research that Input Output does is research that is based on first principles. The type of uh, research work that you will see coming out from researchers that work at Input Output is research that looks at problems um, you know, from a very um, neutral academic perspective, tries to solve them in the best possible way, independently of minor elements that you might think like, oh, this is important at that particular point in time, or we try to optimize this particular element. The real issue here is solve the really hard problems of the space uh, following a first principles approach. And Input Output has for many years pioneered this perspective in the blockchain space as a company. It's very interesting to work with researchers at the Blockchain Lab. The way they work, and the way they can see into the future and make a plan. It's very inspiring for me. It's quite fun. Researching this area is quite fun.